One of the coolest things about my school is the area around it. We're just north of our nation's capital, of Washington, D.C., and we're part of an arc of little cityscapes connected by a cross of major roads that stretch for nearly five miles. From early in the morning until late at night, you'll always see people out and about. You can join in on any activity, access any service, enjoy any type of food, and meet people from just about any place in the world. In 2027, our area will be the center of a new light rail line known as the Purple Line that's currently under construction. It's the first new line connecting to DC's Metro Rail in a decade, and it's no ordinary line. Historically, subway lines have radiated outwards from center cities, like spokes on a wheel. The Purple Line, however, goes laterally from east to west and is believed to be the first major line in the country to connect suburb to suburb. This is a big deal for all kinds of social, economic, and political reasons, but most importantly, because of climate change. At a time of freak snowstorms in Texas, record heat waves in Alaska, and widespread drought in the American Southwest, to have any chance at stopping the acceleration of climate change in the next 20 years, we'll need more projects like this in the United States that will help transform America's suburbs into something more like urban cores, walkable with high density housing and a strong mass transit. High School Eastern Division's first prize is awarded to Dermot Foley from Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland for his film, The Promise of Langley Park, The Purple Line, Climate Change, and Reimagining the Future of America's Suburbs.